Hi students, all of you welcome. Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil Kumar Bandaru. Students, in this chemistry, we have completed a lot of topics. Today, we are going to start a new topic that is food chemistry. Okay, that is food chemistry. So, let us start the session guys. And if you want previous, just click on the playlist. You can find out the previous session. Yes, food chemistry. Okay, in the food chemistry, we have to learn the main topics are carbohydrates, okay, and proteins and enzymes. Carbohydrates, proteins, and enzymes. Okay. In the coming to vitamins, vitamins will come into the biology. Okay, so in the chemistry, we have to discuss these two only, these three only. Coming to the first one, carbohydrates. You know very well about carbohydrates. These are primary source of energy. Carbohydrates. Okay, if you can consider almost all the grains, rice, wheat, ragi, oats, whatever it may be. Okay, if you can consider all the grains, we have the main source, the main uh, thing is carbohydrate only. Okay. So, note to the point, these are, these are active polyhydro, polyhydroxy aldehydes. Okay. These are active polyhydroxy aldehydes okay and here these are generally these are generally are primarily produced by plants produced by plants example all grains are uh, in all grains the main ingredient is carbohydrates. For example, rice, wheat, okay, you can consider barley, oats, jowar, ragi, whatever it may be. You can consider all these grains having carbohydrates and some vegetables like uh, potato, uh, beetroot. So in the roots, the roots also, uh, there are more percentage carbohydrates are there. Okay. And here the important one, the formulas, general formula of carbohydrate. General formula of the carbohydrate that is CXH2OY. H2OY. For example, if you can consider uh, X as 6, okay, X as 6 and Y also as 6, then the formula will be C6H2O base 6. That means C6H2O. O6. Okay, this is the name of glucose. Name of glucose. So it is the general formula based upon x and y values. Uh, the carbohydrate will be changes. Glucose, fructose, maltose, all those. Okay. So general formula of the carbohydrates is Cx H2O base Y. Okay, base Y. And now coming to some important or common carbohydrates. First one is glucose. Some common carbohydrates. Okay. The first one, the glucose. Very, very important, guys. 
the glucose formula of the glucose c6 h2o6 okay here the first important question here that is in the glucose which is also called as blood sugar glucose is called as blood sugar okay so nowadays anyone is suffering with a diabetes diabetes they are checking their glucose levels in the blood okay if those glucose levels are very high then they need to take care okay so generally the glucose values before fasting okay that is um, in the fasting case fasting case uh, nearly 70 to 115 or up to 120 okay so whenever you wake up early morning if you check your glucose levels if those glucose levels are more than 120 mg per uh, dl then you said to be uh, suffering with diabetes okay so it is generally present it is generally present in grains and some type of fruits some type of fruits okay and also if you want to obtain this glucose it is obtained from starch it is obtained from starch by doing hydrolysis okay it is obtained from starch and the value of uh, glucose in our blood normal values its concentration in blood ranges between 75 to 115 or 120 mg per dl okay and what is the main purpose of this glucose it provides instantaneous energy okay if anyone suffering with uh, some diarrhea loose motions uh, or warm things okay if you go to the hospital uh, the doctor will uh, give some saline in that uh, the main is uh, uh, dns dns that is dextrose with the sodium chloride so the dextrose is again converted into glucose okay so it gives the instantaneous energy it provides instantaneous energy to human body okay now the second one fructose fructose here fructose formula c6 h2o6 that means you can observe both glucose and fructose formulas are same formulas are almost same here coming to this fructose a very important question fructose is also called as fruit sugar as fruit fruit same na fructose is called as fruit sugar fructose is called as fruit sugar okay fructose is also called as fruit sugar and it is used in medical syrups also it is used in medical syrups and some candies or toffees okay and it is also present in honey it also 
present in honey in honey both glucose and fructose both are present both are present okay fruits and also honey and also honey so that's why honey provides instantaneous energy to the human body the next one sucrose sucrose it is the sugar we are using okay in the tea coffees the tea coffees are sweets we are using the sugar now that is nothing but sucrose that is nothing but sucrose very very sweet c12 h24 or h22 o11 c12 h22 o11 so that means why is the 11 here okay it is obtained from sugar cane it is obtained from sugar cane okay so whatever the sugar we are using uh, is nothing but sucrose our domestic sugar domestic sugar is sucrose only is sucrose okay so that's why it is obtained from sugar cane so it is also called as cane sugar cane sugar now coming to the next one maltose it is called as malt sugar c12 h22 o11 that means same formula for sucrose and maltose okay it is also known as also known as malt sugar also known as malt sugar okay it is used in alcohol production production of alcohol now coming to the next one lactose 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 formula also same c12 h22 o11 okay it is called as it is also called as milk sugar also called as milk sugar okay it is found in milk of mammals it is found in milk of mammals so in the mother milks we have this lactose okay so if you can consider cow's milk uh, it is a uh, nearly 4 to percentage if you can consider human milk it is somewhat of higher 5 to 8 percentage okay 5 to 8 percent so note down all this very important mainly three questions are important first one which is called as blood sugar glucose second one which is called as fruit sugar that is nothing but fructose which is called as milk sugar that is lactose okay these three are very important coming to the next one next one glycosin next to tar that is glycosin okay so the carbohydrates which which are available in uh, animal body those are nothing but those, those are nothing but can say this glycogen those are nothing but can say glycogen so not on the point in animal body carbohydrates are carbohydrates are stored as glycogens 
okay in our animal body carbohydrates are stored as glycogens so it is called as animal starch so it is called as animal starch called as animal starch okay so that means it is present in animal bodies like uh, liver it is present in animal bodies like liver muscles brain it is okay that means whenever our body needs glucose then glycogen may be converts into glucose okay glycogen may be convert into glucose so not down at point when our body needs glucose that is nothing but glucose means primary source of energy glucose then enzymes breaks this glycogen into glucose glycogen into glucose okay whenever our body needs glucose that is energy then enzymes breaks uh, glycogen into glucose now after this we have discussed another important thing is uh, proteins proteins okay you know very well proteins are used for to get the muscles okay to get the muscles so here the important points belongs to proteins the term of protein the term protein derived from this is uh, one of the important question one of the important question the term protein derived from the word derived from the word is called as proteinose or proteose okay what is the meaning of this uh, proteinose or proteose It is prime importance means prime importance okay the term protein derived from the word proteos means prime importance okay and this uh, protein name is given by the scientist is called as muller muller that is also important the term proteins given by muller given by muller this protein is it is the fundamental protein is our proteins are fundamental building blocks of the body building blocks of body okay so what are the sources sources of uh, protein sources of uh, protein meat any type of meat chicken eggs and some grains are sources of protein okay and the functions they have so many important functions okay they may be act as the enzymes in case of plants and animals they are components of uh, main hair muscle and skin okay so note down some important functions they act as enzymes in plants and animals okay and these are main components of main components of 
Mazil Kim. Hey, if you want to uh, grow mazil skin or hair, whatever it may be, protein is the main important. Okay. And these are transport oxygen. Transport oxygen. Oxygen to to, our, to uh, all the organs or to fat or other substance to other substances required for metabolism required for metabolism okay and whenever there are no carbohydrates and no fats then protein will become a source of energy okay proteins will give instant energy when carbohydrates and fat are not present not present proteins becomes source of energy becomes source of energy okay now after these proteins we have to discuss the next thing enzymes enzymes are also very important okay these enzymes are nothing but these are also one type of proteins only enzymes are also considered as some types of some types of proteins only that means all these enzymes are proteins but all proteins may not be enzymes okay so if you can consider these are the enzymes all the enzymes are proteins all the enzymes are proteins but all the proteins may not be enzyme okay so you can note down that all enzymes are proteins but all proteins may not enzymes okay so these are also actually proteins what on the point these are actually protein molecules or molecule of protein molecules of high molecular mass high molecular mass okay these are also called as biochemical catalyst these are also called as biochemical catalysts these are also called as biochemical catalyst okay biochemical catalyst here i want to give some uh, enzymes and those works and the purpose okay so if you can consider the enzyme dimage dimage this converts glucose to ethyl alcohol glucose to ethyl alcohol the enzyme which converts glucose to ethyl alcohol is nothing but dimash and the enzyme invertase it converts to cross converts to cross into fructose and glucose fructose and glucose okay the enzyme maltase it converts it converts disaturide disaturide maltose into simple sugar simple sugar in the sense glucose 
simple sugar that is glucose okay and the next enzyme diastase diastase enzymes which converts starch into maltose starch into maltose and after that after that it converts into glucose glucose as the name itself dia dia means two two state first stage starch into maltose and then maltose to glucose okay and the next enzyme amylase amylase so this amylase converts starch into glucose starch into glucose so if whatever the food we take that food has to be becomes energy by using these enzymes if without enzymes we cannot digest the food we cannot digest the food that's why in, uh, in uh, sorry if we have digestion problems the doctor suggest digestive enzymes okay so these are digest uh, uh, enzymes uh, are very very important for our metabolism okay we have so many other uh, enzymes are also there but these are very important okay okay students we will discuss the remaining topics in the next session i love you thank you so much for watching take care bye guys